हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स हाउ आर यू पीपल डूइंग आई होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन ओके लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ कोड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई होप यू पीपल हैव सॉ इट बट आई बट द व्यूज डजेंट से सो बट ऑल्सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव सेट यू अबाउट द कोड जेनरेटर आई हैव डिस्कस द इश्यूज विद द कोड जेनरेटर नाउ uh i have also said you that the code optimization is a uh, optional phase every time you don't need to have this code optimization but it is a very useful phase because see what i'm saying is it's optional it is not necessary that you need to uh, you know have this code optimization go through the code optimization but if you go through it it is very beneficial you are getting my point so now in order to move further in the code generator phase we also we need to also understand how the code is optimized before going to the code generation generator so now in code optimization we'll be discussing about basic blocks and flow graph two components through which this code optimization phase works it works on basic blocks and flow graph now um see what is the thing is over here what firstly let us know this we all know it already what is the input of the code optimization phase from where it is coming it is coming from the intermediate code generator right and where it is going it is going to code generator so what will be the input of code optimization it will be the intermediate code right and what will be the output of the code optimization it's again the intermediate code see girls please note this point the input and output of code optimization phase is the same it's the intermediate code but when it's input it is in you know uh, not in optimized form but when it is going as an output it is in optimized form it is making more sense when it is going as an output and obviously i have said you that intermediate code generator all, always takes the form of three address code so three intermediate code generator is always written in three address code we have done enough examples during our classes to have this three address code will work over here also in this video how to again you know like brushing up the three address code okay so let us move further now this code optimization is of two types one is machine dependent and the other one is machine independent firstly machine independent means it is not dependent on the computer hardware machine dependent means it is completely dependent on the system's hardware like what is the operating system what is the sorry so operating system comes as software sorry what is the configuration of your computer systems on this thing it depends so code optimization is machine independent and machine dependent fine girls okay now a quick theoretical points over here see in order to perform code optimization we need to keep three points in our uh, in mind the first thing is see code optimization means what we are doing we are optimizing the thing what do you mean by optimizing optimizing means eliminating the redundant things eliminating the useless things you are getting my point first thing it is eliminating the useless stuff second thing it is avoiding the things to be repeated the same exact things to be repeated you are getting me what is optimization optimization is eliminating the things eliminating the useless things and uh, you know uh, eliminating the useless stuff and what's the next thing what i said you yeah it is non repetition of the same statements we need to avoid the statements which are getting repeated 
so while doing this optimization we need to take care that the authenticity of the program the meaning of the program is still kept intact there is no change in the meaning of the program like an addition program cannot be optimized to do something some multiplication the meaning of the program should be kept preserved should be preserved fine goals then see or uh, what is the purpose of optimization the purpose of optimization is so that we have less number of steps and because we are having less number of steps we can have like we can execute the entire code in less amount of time so uh saving of the time is actual thing when we are working on the optimization concept right so when i'm optimizing the program it should be in such a way that it is decreasing a measurable amount of time not like i'm optimizing the program and it is not making any change for the time time like not making any cha change in the time taken like uh before it was executing in 5 seconds now it is executing in uh you know what uh, um, like 0. Point, sorry 4.54 seconds like it doesn't make any change if it is you know the change in the time taken is only about milliseconds so we need to take care about that when we are optimizing a program it should reduce the time uh, taken to a considerable amount then is the third point which is very important see girls when we are optimizing the program it should not be like uh, Uh, we are doing it for uh, you know for the purpose of doing it no it should be worth the effort like it should considerably be helpful in reducing the space taken and also the time taken then we can say that the purpose of code optimization is achieved is that clear goals i hope it's clear to you uh, as i said you that code optimization uses two components one is basic block and the other one is flow chart so basic block is like whatever is a code as i said you the input of the code optimization phase is intermediate code generate or oh, sorry intermediate code so this code is now divided into blocks the code is divided into blocks and that is known as basic blocks then this basic blocks are drawn in such a way that it forms a flow chart like will be you know uh will be drawing the flow of the blocks like how from one block we are going to the another block okay i go i hope flow graph is clear to every one of you okay now the next thing which is very important now see over here what's the example now we'll be understanding how code optimization works see over here what it is said that we need to convert the program that is the program that is given on the left side this program this program needs to be converted into three address code and then we need to identify the basic blocks so two questions i have been asked over here firstly we need to convert the program into three address code and then we need to form the basic blocks okay guys as i said to you this topic will be the revision of your three address code so over here now see now uh, what's happening in this program it's written in some language not in the c language which we are used to it's written in some language what is happening over here we have begin the program in the program i have assigned a value of 0 to prod and 1 to i two variables then see over here girls what's happening it's do while loop see over here it's do while loop so what is meant by do while loop like before applying the condition we need to execute the code for once so this code this while loop code will be executed for once before applying the condition fine so all these things this complete block is known as the while loop it is starting from begin 
and ending over here is that clear i hope it's clear to everyone okay the program so now over here you see how to write the three address code so firstly i'm starting from my variables in my variables it's already in three address code so one two and three so prod is given to oh sorry zero is given to prod then one is given to i so both the variables are done now coming inside the while loop what happens when we are in the while loop see over here begin do this are just the keywords we are over here now so when i i will be executing the statement what is the thing i'll be reaching out first it will be obviously dependent on the um, priority of the operator so who is having the highest priority it is the multiplication operator but if you see over here over here in this thing what is happening i am multiplying two arrays one is a and the other one is b both are having the size of i now girls three address code when i'm working on arrays how the three address code is represented for the arrays is we will be like whatever is the size whatever is the uh, sorry whatever is the size of the array that will be multiplied into the size of the data type like for character int uh, what are the other data types character int mm, yeah i forgot what are the other uh, data types int character double yeah and so on so the size of the array will be multiplied with the size of the int so here in my example i am taking four so over here you see if you go over here in the third step i have taken a temporary variable and in that temporary variable the size of this i has been multiplied by four and assigned to the temporary variable so the size of i the i has been multiplied with 4 and given to t1 now what is the next step the next step is another temporary variable is taken and what is i now in this place i what i have done i has been multiplied by 4 because that's a rule when we are writing three address code so that multiplication has been stored in t1 so a t1 a of t1 t1 denotes i into 4 which is required for three address code so a of t1 is now assigned to a temporary variable t2 is that clear girls moving further again i have an array when i have an array what will be my first step the first step will be <coughs> the i will be multiplying with 4 i am taking the example of 4 you can take 2 1 or anything okay so i have taken i into 4 and this is assigned to t3 then what is the next step i is now i into 4 which is given to t3 so b of i will be now written as b of t3 b of t3 is given to t4 is that clear i hope the arrays thing is clear to it <coughs> to all of you i hope it's that's the case okay so what we are doing firstly the inner size of the array is multiplied by 2 or 4 or something it is assigned to the temporary variable then that temporary variable comes as a of t1 or b of t1 and so on is that clear then after the after the arrays has been assigned what is the next thing we are multiplying a of i into b of i so we will be doing that see a of i is stored in t2 and b of i is stored in t4 so we'll be having a next temporary variable t5 and in that we'll be storing t2 into t4 so this multiplication is stored in t5 clear goals then what is the next thing the next thing is we'll be we'll be adding this product to prod so how will we be doing it it's very simple the entire step see uh, prod is equals to prod plus t5 still we have 
थ्री एड्रेसेस इट इज नॉट मोर देन थ्री एड्रेसेस सो प्रॉट इज इक्वल टू प्रॉट प्लस टी फाइव इज दैट क्लियर देन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इट इज आई इक्वल टू आई प्लस वन विच इज रिटर्न ओवर हियर इट स्टिल इन द थ्री एड्रेस कोड फाइन देन वॉट्स द थिंग इट्स द वाइल डिक्लेरेशन ना वेन वी आर वर्किंग ऑन वाइल वाइल इज आई लेस दैन और इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो वॉट डज दिस वाइल मीन्स दिल आई स वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वील बी कीप ऑन डूइंग दिस थिंग अंटिल माई वाइल इज सेटिस्फाइड लाइक इफ माई आई इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड ट्वेंटी देन दिस वाइल विल कम टू एन एंड otherwise it will be keep on you know uh, executing again and again so how we denote while we have done it in three address code when we are working with while we write if so if my i value has become uh, is less than or equal to 20 then what i'll be doing i'll be still doing the same code i'll be still doing the same code so where my code is starting it is starting at step number 3 so i'll be going to step number 3 so if i is less than or equal to 20 then i'll be going to step number 3 if this thing comes wrong then i will be like moving out of my loop is that clear girls i hope the three address code is understood by everyone if it's not then see that you are again um, going back and uh, watching it again on repetition if at all you are not understanding anything let me know through the comment section or through the whatsapp okay now what is the next part of the question the next part of the question is to the next part of the question is to identify the basic blocks now girls to identify the basic blocks we need to determine the leaders we need to locate the leaders as i say it's leaders theek hai leader matlab leader class ka leader hota hai na waise uh block in order to identify the basic blocks we need to locate the leaders now who will be the leaders in the three address code who will be the leaders it is said over here girls the leaders is dependent on three criteria the first one is the first statement of the code is the leader so whatever is the first statement of the code is it is the leader then what is the next leader see whoever go to is pointing to whatever step go to is pointing to that will be our next leader so who is go to where is go to in our pro code where is go to in our code it is over here and where it is pointing it is pointing to 3 so 3 will be my next leader so this is my leader got my point the first statement is the leader and the statement which go to is pointing to is my leader now what about the third thing the third thing it is not over here in this example i'll say you through another example so the third criteria will be the thing which is following the statement which is following the go to like if at all there was the step 11 after this go to step if i would have a 11 statement over here then 11 would have been a leader so the first statement of the code is a leader the statement go to is pointing to is a leader and the statement after go to is a leader see what is go to denoting if this is the case go to such statement like if this is the case go to 3 else else means obviously the next statement so else also the else statement also has a value and it is also considered as a leader hence the statement which is following go to is also the leader i hope it's clear to you so over here the first step and the third step is the leader so what we do we bring one and two in one block like this why because the basic block will be starting from the leader and ending just before another leader so who is another leader is 3 so before just before this leader our first basic block is completed 
clear goals then where is my next block where is my next leader it is over here so my basic block will be starting here and where it will be going it will be going up to here because after this go to statement there will be another leader but in our program we don't have it so my basic the another basic block will be on this point like from 3 to 10 is that clear girls i hope it's clear to you okay so i'm in my example i have two basic blocks one is this one and the other one is this one now as i said you the next component is a flow graph so we'll be you know seeing how the flow is happening between the blocks see after the first block is executed where we are going we are going to the next block to this block right see after this we are going over here okay. so see after my first block where i'm going i'm going to this block so that is mentioned over here then after this block is executed where am i going i am going to go to three so again i am coming back to this block this first block is b1 and this one is b2 so where i am going again i am coming back to b2 hence in the flow chart you see girls instead of writing go to 3 i have written b2 because i am again coming back to b2 and if at all this case is like uh, you know getting false then it will be going outside to some debt okay kuch debt statement chale jayega is that clear is the flow chart clear to you i hope so okay well uh, learn about this in through another example and you will get a more clear idea on this okay so the next example girls the next example is the quick sort program i'm not going to explain you the quick sort program over here now just see that this is a quick sort program taken from some uh, book over here so what i'm doing over here you see uh, quick sort this is starting this is the quick sort starting and it is coming up to here whatever then now what we'll be doing is we'll be firstly writing the three address code for this quick sort see i am like uh, over here you see it is just the mm, it is just the declaration of the variables like i'm not assigning any values so my three address code is not valid here right from where my three address code is valid it is from here like mean coding is starting from here so the first statement i is equals to m minus one it will be written as it is because it is already in three address code then is j equals to one again it is in three address code like three address code means it should have three or less than three addresses so over here j is equals to n is another three address code then is my v assigned to i'm sorry a of n assigned to v now over here you see girls that i have an array i have said you when we are writing three address code for array the first step is we'll be multiplying the size of the array with a value and assigning it to temporary variable that temporary variable along with the like will be the size of the array and that will be assigned to a another temporary variable so over here what is the size of the array it is n and n again i'm multiplying it with four it can be multiplied with any number like i am multiplying it with 4 so 4 into n is given to a temporary variable t1 then what is the next step then this t1 is now the size of a so a of t1 is now assigned to v so now it is in three address mode v1 a2 and t1 3 so this is in three address mode is that clear okay then coming down now what is the next thing being said while one we cannot denote it right now because firstly 
we need to see this so over here what is the step it is i equals to i plus 1 that will be written as it is then is again a while loop and what is while loop saying that a of i is less than v so again we have an array firstly we will be writing the three address code for this array so i has been multiplied with 4 and given to t2 then uh, a of t2 is given to t3 just concentrate girls you will understand it i has been multiplied with 4 given to t2 and then a of t2 has been given to t3 so my array 3 address code is completed over here then what is said while loop so while is if so if what is a of i a of i is given to t3 so t3 if t3 is less than v then what will be do doing when this is less than v what will be doing will be again repeating this thing what will be repeating will be repeating the incrementation of y so this thing will be repeated right so where is i equals to i plus 1 it is on 5 so what will be doing if t3 is less than v will be again going to 5 and doing the incrementation procedure is that clear okay now the next thing what is the next thing this is done until uh, t3 is less than 5 then what is the next two while loop over here so you see then in the next two while loop it is j equals to j minus 1 so that is written over here then again i have a while loop so in while loop i have an array how i denote array it is through these two steps so j is multiplied with 4 assigned to t4 and then a of t4 is given to t5 so what is the what is written over here if t5 is greater than v go to 9 if t5 is greater than v go to 9 why 9 because when this thing while thing will be executed if this is the case then it will be again this thing will be executed that is decrementing the j value so j value will be keep on decrementing until a of j is greater than v so where is j equals to j minus 1 it is on the step number 9 therefore what we say we say if t5 is greater than v we go to 9 then what is the next statement it is it is if i is greater than or equal to j then break so if i is greater than or equal to j then boy will be going will be going to 23 now girls is the thing see over here if this is the case if this is getting executed then we are breaking what are we breaking we are breaking the while loop where is the while loop starting it is starting over here and where it is ending it is ending over here so when i break i will be outside this loop i will be outside this loop so which statement i'll be executing after this one if this is getting false i'll be executing this statement right i will be outside the loop and executing this statement so over here you see girls okay so so this statement uh, you can see it's written on the step number 23 hence i have pointed it to 23 you can leave the space go to after completing the three address code you can write the location that is 23 now coming inside over here again i have an array so i have i equals i will be multiplied with 4 it will be assigned to a temporary variable t7 then uh, similarly what is the thing over here j j will be also multiplied with 4 sorry 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 okay i is multiplied with uh, 4 and given to t6 then a of t6 is given to x so the statement is completed then coming to the statement again we have two arrays so 4 into i and 4 into j then what will be doing will be moving to the next step that is over here t9 is equals to a of t of 8 then 
a of t7 is equals to what is the next step it is a of j is equals to x so j is again multiplied j of j is already multiplied over here no we will be doing it again altogether. So j is again multiplied with 4. It is assigned to t10 and a of t10 is assigned to x. Is that clear girls? I hope it's clear. a of t10 is equals to x. Now this thing is this thing it comes under the while loop. It is under the while loop right. So if it is if it is under the while loop what's the case we'll be doing it we'll be performing the steps again and again so which step we are we will be again starting with we'll be starting with i equals to i plus one i equals to i plus one is in fifth step hence what we are doing over here you see we are after finishing this thing after finishing the eggs this line after finishing this line where we are going we are heading back to the start of the while loop which is i equals to i plus 1 so over here go to 5 then from 23 again what we are doing we are executing sorry writing the three address code for the statements these statements you can go through it through your pdf as for now i uh, I tend to you know miss it okay you can you know go through the three address code which is written on the back side now coming to our purpose of the program that is to identify the three address code in order to identify the three address code we need to identify the leaders so who are the leaders the first statement is the leader the statement go to is pointing to is a leader and the statement following the go to is the leader so over here the first statement is over here it is i equals to m minus 1 so this will be the leader then where is my go to statement it is over here so go to is pointing to 5 so 5 will be my leader over here now then we i said you the statement following the go to will also be the leader so 9 is again my leader then where is my next go to statement it is over here where go to is pointing it is pointing to 9 9 has already been pointed as leader so no need of pointing it again 9 is a leader then where is my who is following next go to statement it is over here however it is also have so 13 will be my leader now then in 13 i have another go to statement which is go to 23 so 23 will be my leader which is backside then this go to is being followed by 14 so 14 will be my leader see girls again i'll be repeating who all are my leaders it is 1 5 9 13 14 and also 23 the first statement the statement uh, go to is pointing to is my leader and the statement following the go to statement is my leader so in that way i got 1 5 9 13 14 and 23 as my leaders see over here there, it's a proper depiction over here so this is my first block because one is my leader it will be it will be starting here from leader and it will be ending till my next leader is found so who is my next leader is 5 so hence my first basic block will be from 1 to 4 then which is my next basic block it is uh, uh, starting with 5 and it will be until my next leader is found so who is my next leader it's 9 so if my basic block is 5 to 8 then the next basic block b3 is from 9 to 12 then i have b4 from 13 after b4 i have immediately after 13 i have another leader that is 14 hence uh, my 13 basic block will be with only one statement then 14 is starting over here and it is like going till 22 because 23 is again a leader so hence i'll be ending it before the 23 statement so it is starting with 14 to 22 that will be my block 5 and then from 23 that is my next leader uh, my 
block will be running from 23 until my next leader is found but my program is coming to the end so it will be up to the statement 30 so i have all together six basic blocks b1 b2 b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and b6 i hope study this basic blocks one again once again you will be getting the you will be getting to know about the basic blocks fine girls then is the next important thing that is the flow chart so over here you see b1 after getting itself executed where it is coming it is coming to b2 so b1 is sorry b1 is being going to b2 then what about b2 b2 after getting executed it is going to 5 like if this statement is true it is going to 5 what is fifth statement is it is again bringing us to start of b2 so what i am writing over here go to b2 so over here i am returning back to b2 when if my this statement is true if my this statement if the eighth statement is true then i am returning back to b2 but if it is false then where i am going i am going to b3 is that clear goes it is going to b3 now b3 what it is doing b3 is checking if t5 is greater than v now if it is greater than v then what is the thing i'll be going to 9 what is 9 9 is the start of b3 so i'll be what i'll be writing over here i'll be writing go to b3 so my flow will be back to b3 if it is true and if it is false i'll be going to the next statement so what is the next block it is b4 so i'll be going to b4 now b4 what it is doing it is checking i is greater than or equal to j if that's the case then where it is going it is going to 23 if this is the case it is going to 23 so over here you see if this is turning out to be true it is going to 23 who is at 23 the 23 is at b6 so where it will be going it will be going to b6 over here it's not 5 it's 6 b6 it's if it's true it is going to b6 and if it is false then it will be going to the immediate next statement who is the immediate next statement it's 14 14 belongs to b5 so it will be going if it is false it will be going to b5 i hope the flow chart is clear to you this topic which i have done in this video are very very important girls it will cover whole of your one answer so see that you are thoroughly understanding this topic and it's very simple to understand thank you girls